Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Another quite warm day. I don't know why I'm wearing a down jacket, but there we go. Right. EDC. EDC stands for Everyday Carry. And today I want to share with you my EDC. The file of hats that I'm carrying every time I go out. Um, I've, uh, I've printed a sheet. This is the paper I'm using. Um, I don't like the mini sized paper that uh, is just a, just a little bit too small. So what I do is I print my, print my own custom sheets. And in this Firefax, which is a glorified to-do list, reference book, um, a diary for a couple of days, just the absolute bare bones minimum. That is what I carry in my EDC. Um, it is a Guildford Mini Extra Slim, which is uh, quite a rare thing. It was only made for a year or so. Experts can uh, let me know exactly how long it was made, but they are as rare as hen's teeth. And, uh, well, I've got one, so I'm, <laughs> I'm very, very pleased. There is some good and there is some bad and there is some potentially very ugly, but let's start with uh, some measurements. Okay. It's the, it's the smallest one, I believe, Firefax have ever made. Um, so the width is, there we go. It is 82 millimeters. And um, the, I was, <laughs> I was looking on this ruler for inches to, to give you guys in the States the, the, the measurement in inches, but it doesn't, it doesn't have it. I've just got this out of my toolbox and, uh, and uh, it, it just has millimetres and centimetres. Well, there we go. I'm so sorry about that. Um, the length of it or the height of it is 115 millimetres and the width, um, let's take this as a, an average width. The width is, um, including the padding, it's, we're looking at less than 15 millimetres. So it is what it is. It's, it's the smallest one, I believe. So what is in my EDC? So for a start, um, cash. Lots of people like cash, so I still carry cash. Uh, in here, I prefer to, I'm here in the UK, I prefer five pound notes because they fit this very well. Whereas if you get a 20 pound note, it doesn't, it, it doesn't really fit. It could fit, but I'm really finicky with this sort of thing. So I, I like to get five pound notes. So I get them from the bank and I say, excuse me, may I have a fit in, when they say, how would you like, what denomination do you require? And I say, five pound notes, please. And uh, they don't know the reason why, but you and I know now why I prefer five pound notes. So this is the this is the difference in size here in the UK between a five pound and a twenty pound note. It's just just that little bit too large to fit snugly in the pocket of the mini slim, mini extra slim. So there we go. So that's how I carry it. And one of the 
one of the advantages of carrying cash like this is so that you can reach into your pocket. So you can reach into your pocket and then you can just literally take one note out and you don't have to get out the whole of your wallet or in this case your Filofax. Um, some of the streets in the UK, especially in our cities, are pretty mean so you, you just don't want to show your hands or show your Filofax. So that is a real handy thing. Um, you have three pockets on this side which are credit card size and on the back you have um, some space for some more cash and some more cards. There we go. I've got my driving license in here, another card. And then I, Winston Churchill. Yeah, what a great guy. Uh, and then I have two bits of card and that gives me, the, the reason for the two bits of card is so that if I'm writing, I'm not having to effectively lean on a load of cards, so you, I'm not going to show you what's in my in my um, my secret data, but you you can you get the picture. So whether you're writing that way or this way, you've always got a card. And even though the rings are, even though even though the rings are internally they they're 11 millimeters um, it's enough for potentially 50 50 sheets of cheap cheap paper that I use or that I print out on cheap a4 copy of paper it's it's good enough it's nothing fancy um, so I cut them out and then what I do is um, I have got a hole punch for my personal size file of facts and my A4 file of faxes and my uh, um, A5 file of faxes, but I don't have one for a mini at the moment. So all I do is I just do that with a with a point with a bridle, and I just do that and. One of the advantages I find with this method is that the, the holes are uh, a perfect size for the rings in this this mini Filofax. Um, if you had them larger then the, the pages would sort of waggle about a bit. So if you get one of these hole punches, make sure that the, well, I, I would say the perfect size, let's have, actually measure this to see what, what holes I'm making. So they are um, four millimeters, four millimeters. Now, can you get a hole punch that will punch four millimeters? I don't know. Probably, maybe a maybe a single, a single one. Um, but not perhaps. A, I haven't seen a four. I've seen. I think I've seen a five, and, and you get the six, etc. But um, not a uh, not a four. So if you're, <coughs> excuse me, if if your if your system is very rarely using paper. I mean, I, I've got probably about 10 sheets in there at the moment. It's, it's enough. I don't, I don't need to carry much on a, uh, on, on a, on a, a day out, a day to day basis with my EDC. So I don't really need to use it every day. I'm not going through page after page after page every day. So I'd probably print out one of these um, maybe once a week, uh, maybe every 10 days. So I, it for me, it's easier to just do this. And the advantage, the advantage is that I can have the paper exactly the same size as the 
external dimensions of the actual binder itself, which I much prefer for an EDC like this, where dividers are not required, they're not necessary. So why limit yourself to a smaller than necessary piece of paper when you can just print out a custom size? So so that's what I've done. And the, these these are, I wish I'd got um, a, a, a mini size page to, to compare, but it's, it's this in terms of surface area is about 50% bigger. And then what I do is I just cut I just cut the corner off there and the corner off there so that I can actually get my thumbs um, to actually press the uh, to press the ring so that I can open them but there, there we go so that is all the good but I want to show you the bad and it's not bad bad but it is bad I suspect some of you will think of it as bad so let me just the um the data applied the oh, what am i saying let me let me remove everything from my file thanks okay file faxes just look really weird with nothing in them don't they but anyway here we are um, oh, there is there is something else that's very very good, and that is this, which regular viewers will know. It's my most important thing. So, here's the flattability test. Well, it's 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 nearly there, isn't it? It's nearly there. I I would give that I would give that a ten out of ten. There's no there's no problem with that as well. Uh, it doesn't have to be completely flat in this scenario, in an EDC scenario, because you're not writing a um, a freaking journal. You are just uh, you're just referring to it and opening it, and it is what it is. But this is the bad. So let me show you this. Right. Can you see that cracking? Can you see how it is? It is just in certain places. It is just about to to peel. I don't know whether I can. I'm not. I don't want to wreck my file effects, But can you see? It is. It is starting to come away I can literally I mean I'm doing this for the purposes of demonstration and this is a working tool it's not a an item of beauty it is a working tool but have a look at that underneath there if I can get it in focus underneath there is something that's a man-made substrate onto which this leather is bonded and in a larger Guildford slim a personal size this cracking has been so bad that huge huge pieces of it have fallen off literally fallen off but somewhat serendipitously underneath there's this if you if you scrub it with a with a paintbrush and some water it just literally floats away and you can you you come across unexpectedly this this really nice looking woven material so purely by accident i discovered that that is what is underneath here but okay so you can see i've taken a bit of the leather off there and it is something that i'm uh I wasn't happy about when I got this because when when I got this um, about four months ago, I started using it every single day, getting in and out of my pocket, and it is. Uh, it, it was initially quite a shock because when I got it, it never been used before, never been used in anger certainly, and it was pristine. 
But then after, after literally just a week of use, I started to see this cracking, which is just getting worse and worse and worse. However, it's a working tool. It's not a, not a thing of beauty to be lovingly looked at and then put back on the shelf. This is a working tool. And, and so I don't really care about the, the, this leather. Interestingly, the leather, both on here, on the outside, both on here and my personal sized Guildford Slim, uh, is perfect. It's, it, even though they've both taken a hammering, the leather on the outside is perfect. Alas, on the inside, this cracking is very, very pronounced and it is rapidly deteriorating after just a few months of use. Now, this is an old, several years old, but has been in storage, been never, never been used, and I'm not the first owner. So I can't, I can't actually vouch for how it was stored, but this is the second Guildford model which I have experienced this particular problem. So it is it is what it is, but it is a lovely thing. I love that. I love the way it's stamped. Fonifax Guildford Extra Slim Mini Organizer Deluxe Leather. Well, deluxe on the outside, I'd agree. Deluxe on the inside, not so much. But it is what it is. So that is the Guildford Mini Extra Slim. And uh, I'm just going to finish my coffee, courtesy of the uh, the drive through just up the road uh, in my town. And uh, and then I will I will add those cut out those four pages with a pair of scissors, fit them all together, and then it will go in back in my pocket. Just one thing I want to uh, mention. This is the third video I have done. Um, quite unexpectedly, I've uh, I found myself with a small following. Uh, over 30 people have subscribed in the last week. And um, I'm, uh, it's uh, taken me aback. Um, and uh, I really appreciate it. It's, uh, it's, um, I've actually found it quite motivating and I feel that I need to get some, get some more videos in the, in the can as it were. Uh, and I've got quite a lot of ideas. So I'm, I'm in my sort of retirement. Uh, I need a bit of a hobby, I think. So, um, I'd really like to carry on this. So for those of you that have subscribed, I just want to say thank you very much for subscribing and also for the motivation you're providing me. So thank you once again, take care, and I look forward to seeing you very soon.